what's up everybody welcome back to another highly combustible reaction we're jumping into something the next one on our netherlands journey we're learning more about the water from tom scott we've seen the the into the headwinds on the absolo dike we've seen a couple of different things we've learned so much from tom and his videos i'm saying shout out to you tom there's an old saying is what it's starting off with we're about to learn something right here for real how the netherlands simulated the sea before computers the water waterloop boss all right let's see what we got let's jump in let's check it out together you requested it if you enjoy it obviously get over and show the man tom scott some love on his channel it's right there inside the description the link is there let's go there's an old saying god may have made the world but the dutch made the netherlands this is the Maslant Barrier, and it's one part of the Delta Works, a set of megastructures that hold back the ocean when high seas threaten to flood this country. This is one of the world's largest movable structures, a pair of 210 meter long gates designed to seal off the main shipping route to Rotterdam Port and hold back storm surges. Depending on whose measurements you believe, somewhere between a fifth and a third of the Netherlands sits below sea level. A lot of that reclaimed from the ocean over years through managing marshland and moving earth and pumping water. There are areas of the Netherlands described as former islands. And these gates are part of the enormous system that Dutch engineers built to keep this country dry. And a couple of hours former north of the island is where they learned to do it. This is just one part of the 10 square kilometers of Waterloop Boss. And it was built when the only way to simulate water was to use water. It's now a national monument and nature is taking back these structures, these experiments. Waterloop means how the flow runs through a system. That is Waterloop in Dutch. Over here we're mostly doing what we call model studies. So basically simulating nature at a certain smaller scale. The whole area started more or less after the Second World War, so around 1950 when there was a big demand for model studies related to the Delta Works in the southwest part of the Netherlands. It was for the Delta Works, but we also did many studies all over the world. Studies of the harbor of Libya, harbors in Tunisia, harbors in, in the Far East, Hong Kong. The main reason for building the Waterloobos here is that we needed a lot of space for the models because around 1950 all the models were outdoor. And another thing is you need water. Where we are standing here is basically the bottom of the former Southern Sea. So we are here standing at a level, let's say, minus two or minus three meters below mean sea level. Here we have a natural water drop of about five meters. So we just have to open the gate at that part of the wood and the water will flow freely through this area. We are standing in what we call the Delta Flume, an enormous rectangular box, so to say. And now you see more an artist impression of this flume with certain section cut out and placed perpendicular to the original flume wall. In this flume, the studies are related to the design of breakwaters. These oh, wow. breakwaters are enormously costly in the order of, let's say, 100 million euros. You take a section out of your breakwater and then scale it down to about one to five and test it here. I've been in meetings where they fight for every centimeter of the block. Well, if we propose, well, let's say that the block should be one meter, there could not be the block 95 centimeters or 96 centimeters or 97 centimeters because that is money. Each yeah. centimeter you can reduce on the block is money. And therefore, this was one of the cash cows of Delft Hydraulics doing these studies, which are expensive, but still cheap in the design of a big breakwater. At the moment, the Waterloo Bosch is a kind of tourist attraction. The upcoming of the computer. That's a really that's cool thing to reasons. see, though. Like, seriously, to take what you're going to do and build it on a smaller scale so you can actually see how it's going to go without having a damn computer, or without even a notion of that. Like, that was when you worked with what you had at the time. You know what? The only way to, to, to see what's going to happen is we got to create a simulation. We got to re-simulate nature. We got to see how it's nuts. That's crazy talk for way back when, Jesus. That this area was left around 2000. We do excursions for tourists to see how we operated the old yeah. outdoor models. And this flume is handed over to the Natural Monument Organization about two years ago. So although we left the territory 
in 2000. It's still this here. This flume was still operational for about 50 years because you cannot easily replace this flume to another place. The Water Act, part of Dutch law, requires the government to maintain flood defences and it establishes a maximum risk that's allowed. So there are parts of the Netherlands that in law it must take a 1 in 10,000 year weather event to flood. The trouble is that the predictions for what 1 in 10,000 years involves keep getting worse. Since they were completed in 1997, the gates of the Maastlant Barrier have only been closed in defence twice. But that's going to become more common in future. Flood defences that were researched here were designed to protect the cities and towns that people already lived in. But with those defences in place, people kept building and the consequences of failure keep growing. The Dutch are going to have to keep making the Netherlands for a long time yet. Holy crap. It's like a mini scale model. There's no Absolutely an intriguing journey through the kind of little mini water systems that they use to figure out how the big water systems would work. That's damn show a intriguing thing. Like we've made models throughout history of different things. Everything nowadays, architects are making models of it. You guys literally made a model of the water system. That's nuts to me. Absolutely kind of genius thinking. Get over it. Show Tom Scott some love. Definitely subscribe over there. Show all of the love over there. The original creators is what we're trying to bring more attention to. Uh, so definitely get over it and show the love. The link's right there inside the description. Hit the like button if you liked it. The dislike button, but I won't believe you. Check out the other video over there. Tell the next one how they can possible. You guys be happy, healthy, safe. I love you to the moon and back, peace.